What is the biggest snake species on Earth? Is it an anaconda? Yes! But what if I tell you there was a bigger, scarier snake that once roamed the Earth millions of years ago? Meet the Titanoboa, destroyer of the world. What would happen if this giant snake was still alive? Could humanity survive, or would it be the end for us all? Imagine you went back in time and are strolling through the jungle of the Paleocene. Plants and trees are huge, but this one trunk is especially enormous. And then, it moves! It's a titanoboa! Oh, Tough no. luck! Discovered in Colombia by an international team of scientists, its official name is Titanoboa cerajonensis, and it was the largest snake that ever lived. Estimated at up to 50 feet long and 3 feet wide, tipping the scales at an estimated 1.25 tons. Damn! This snake was the top predator in the world's first tropical rainforest. It was also the largest known predator on the planet between the extinction of dinosaurs 65 million years ago and the first appearance of the Megalodon, approximately 23 million years ago. Truly enormous snakes really spark people's imagination, but reality has exceeded the fantasies of Hollywood. The snake that tried to eat Jennifer Lopez in the movie Anaconda is not even as big as the one that scientists found. A paleontologist described Titanoboa this way, the snake's body was so wide that if it were moving down the hall and decided to come into my office to eat me, it would literally have to squeeze through the door. And during the expedition, the scientist also found many skeletons of giant turtles and extinct primitive crocodile relatives that were likely eaten by the snake. Because of the snake's gigantic dimensions, the team of scientists was able to calculate the mean annual temperature at equatorial South America 60 million years ago. It was about 91 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 10 degrees warmer than today. The reason for that is because snakes and other cold-blooded animals are limited in body size by the ambient temperature of where they live. This means that if you look at cold-blooded animals and their distribution on the planet today, the large ones are in the tropics where it's hottest, and they become smaller the farther away they are from the equator. Now I understand why spiders in Australia are so gigantic. Titanoboa would probably spend much of its time in the water, because moving around in the water is much easier for creatures like them rather than being on land. And although living on trees has never been an option for this great snake, it could still trek inland on occasion. Scientists are speculating that it belongs to the snake family called boids. They are non-venomous snakes, which sounds pretty safe. But don't you forget that these gigantic creatures are, well, gigantic. They can squeeze you dead in just a few minutes. And they can use their teeth to grab a hold of their prey. It's been said that the teeth can bend like curved hooks sticking into you. The more the prey struggles, the more it gets hooked. But what made Titanoboa go extinct? Although no one knows the exact reason why, two theories have been put forward. Climate change contributed to the disappearance and extinction of most of the Titanoboa. The declining global temperatures favored the emergence of smaller snakes. Larger reptiles were slowly erased, and smaller snakes and other reptiles took over their places in the ecosystem. The rapid drop in temperatures made the metabolic processes of the Titanoboa difficult. Habitat change also contributed to the extinction of the Titanoboa. 
rainforests reduced, and paved the way for grasslands. The Titanoboa, therefore, lacked proper habitat. They disappeared and paved the way for smaller snakes. So now we know that Titanoboas love hot and wet climates, love eating crocodiles, and live underwater. Now, let's assume that these giant slithers didn't go extinct and are still roaming the earth, peacefully coexisting with us. But would it be peaceful? This is a big question. If Titanoboas survived to this day, it could be found in the equatorial tropics. For example, they would love the weather in Colombia or neighboring countries like Venezuela, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, or Panama. Obviously, people would have to carefully protect their homes from the intrusion of Titanoboa. However, it's unlikely that the snake could crawl unnoticed into the house. It would have no trouble knocking out a window or even breaking a door. Fortunately, this behavior is still unusual for snakes, but in order to protect themselves from intruders, people would have to surround their homes with high-voltage electrical fences and probably a taser gun under the pillow, just in case. Help sleep. Just stick this under in noisy, crowded megacities, a huge snake would not have a single chance of survival. If you think about it, there would not be much space for a giant snake to live and say food in the form of rats would not be suitable. By the way, most likely the snake wouldn't be interested in people as a food source. Because contrary to horror films, it rarely attacks a person, let alone swallowing one. But if Titanoboa was still alive, any zoo in the world would dream of getting such a valuable specimen. And it also puts a lot of other animals at risk of being extinct as they become food for the snake. As a result, the food chain could be broken. But is there any benefit to having Titanoboa around? Well, yeah, pest control. Raccoons, deer, or anything ripping through your garbage would no longer be an issue with a Titanoboa on the lookout. Basically, these giant snakes could have helped maintain the ecological balance by eating animals that cause trouble due to overpopulation. But these are just mere assumptions, as unfortunately, the Titanoboa went extinct millions of years ago. But the terror of other giant snakes still exists as large pythons and anacondas still roam the earth. So yeah, we do recommend that you stay clear of giant snakes. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything from Wildpedia.